today and I'm just sitting here waiting for my bus and I figured I'd start the vlog now. I'm going to ride with a new uh, person today so I don't know how much I'm going to film in the barn. Cars. Uh, but uh, if she f thinks it's okay that I film, then I'm going to film like a normal vlog. Otherwise, you're just going to cut to riding clips now.
lovely hack today. Yes, we did. Lots of nice canter. <laughs> um, great angle. We just did some uh, liberty in her field or like paddock. <laughs> And uh, she doesn't really get like turning and putting her right hind leg underneath her. Um, <laughs> that's really difficult, okay? She does understand the other way. So, uh, yeah, we'll work on it. <laughs> You're such a cutie. You done? You like don't go. So I'm done at the barn. Uh, I know it was a very weird vlog uh, today. Basically just going for a hack with me. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it and there will be more just in a couple of seconds. Hi everyone, it's uh, Monday. It's September, so it's autumn, and it's approximately 1.30, and I'm going to the barn. Okay, so I got to the barn, and before I do anything, uh, because it's Monday, it is my responsibility to check that all the horses have water and give them their lunch feed. So the first thing I'm going to do is go check they have water. This is the key to open the water and then feed them so both Pricken and Tin is here um, because we don't have any oh, there's not enough grass down where we have them on grass anymore so they're both in this paddock hello yes oh, I'll bring you food, guys food and they have like no water Sometimes I feel like not all people do what they're supposed to at the barn. Like, how is this possible if it was filled up yesterday? Okay, so now I have to check that the host is connected all the way. And, uh, what kind of if the other horses have water just checking the horse <laughs> they don't have very much water let's check on the girls disconnecting oh. yeah I need to disconnect and connect it's very important that horses have water um, and the opportunity to drink before they get hay so I turned on the water and it's filling up uh, I couldn't film turning on the water because there's lots of people there but yeah just have to wait until this is almost full and then I'm gonna go over that way and uh, disconnect um, what part of the hose and fill up fill up the next bucket, basically.
this one looking at uh, as you saw and um, I'm just gonna finish like filling up shavings later <coughs> and I filled it which is my profit um, so she's been eating for approximately an hour so I'm gonna take her in brush her off and put on the magnetic massage rug oh back thing <laughs> um, before we ride we are going inside Someone's enjoying herself. Yeah. Is it nice? Uh uh. Back. Back. I'm such a horrible person. <laughs> She's like, I want to go out. Welcome to this voiceover of an actually really bad schooling session for me and Plikken. Um, she did not feel like herself today. She felt very syrupy and slow. And I want you to pay attention to her dark hind leg. Um, I think that is where the problem is. Uh, because it feels like she's stiffer there. At least that's what it looks like to me. When I'm looking at her walking here, I like she's not lifting it as far off the ground as the other one. Uh, so it could be her arthritis acting up. And it could also be um, a pulled muscle or just soreness. I don't know. Um, I had many theories on why she was like she was. And I am still not sure. So we'll just have to wait and see if it gets better by itself or if it gets worse. But you can see like the dark hind leg is not moving like it should. So these clips are made with the Pivo. The people did not act very good today, and so I will go over, like, cut it out, and you will see other clips later. Um, but I trotted her a bit, tried to warm her up. Um, she did not move well when I did rising trots, but. Um, it's best to, if your horse is like slightly off, it's best to try and ride them a little bit and see if they get better. Uh, because sometimes it just, it's just stiffness. So this, I've cut out a bunch of trotting and a bunch of trotting was lost. So this, you can see she's moving slightly better here, lifting that hind leg a little bit more off the ground, but still stiff. So what I did today was I tried to do um, some smaller circles and just to um, bend more through her body and um, yeah, riding some figure of eights. Um, so I started off in walk. Just to make sure that she was able to do it. I didn't know how much riding I was going to get to do. Because she was the way she was. Um, but here we have gone away from the pivo. It was disconnected and I just put my phone up. <laughs> because I was sick and tired of it losing me all the time. So here we're just trotting and trying to get her to move forward. That was basically what I was doing today. She did not listen to my leg very well and I was still not sure and I'm still not sure if it is because I had new riding boots and they are stiff. But we did try uh, 
to do the best we could and my toes are pointing out but that is because of the riding boots like look at that <laughs> um it will get better when the boots are like worn in but like i was doing figure of eights and it's kind of hard to do figure of eights when you have a lot of rubbish in the arena still hasn't been taken away but i don't think she's actually quite done um with it because over there there's a birch tree that keeps slapping me in the face so what happens when i took the phone off the pivot uh the uh, image here is like inverted so it's mirrored to what it's supposed to be so her dark hind leg looks like it's the right leg but it it's is the left leg yeah um understand it if you can <laughs> um so everything is backwards basically um so yeah so it's the uh, oh god <laughs> We're now on the right rein. Yeah, we are on the right rein. And I actually, I got a little walk break after doing all those figure of eights. And then uh, I decided to do some counter work. Yeah, we're just going into the left rein, which looks like the right rein, but it is the left rein. Because our left canter is the strongest canter and I wanted to start there. So yeah, here we're cantering left canter, even though it looks like right. And it was actually quite good. I was very impressed with how strong she felt. Uh, she was actually working sort of in an outline and not like being too stiff and throwing her head in the air. So I was very, very pleased with how this went. Uh, didn't do much because she's still not strong enough to do a lot of counter work but I have decided I want to focus more on it uh, so there will be a little bit every time I ride in the arena and I will sort of in increase the amount gradually so here um, I'm trying to do counter right and she did counter left, um, so we're doing counter counter actually. <laughs> um, so I broke it and then we did the right counter. This is so confusing when it's like mirrored. And the right counter is far worse than the left one. It's harder for her to balance. You can see she's moving faster. Um, so yeah. And just changing the rain again. And like I said, she was very behind the my leg. Uh, so here's canter left again. And I can see now that she should move a little bit more forward. But I was just trying to get her to balance and not run away because she does like lean in in the when we're turning and on the short sides and everything so um it's just a project that we have to work on but she did really really well and um yeah what do you guys think of our matchy matchy <laughs> uh, i'm actually kind of pleased with it um so yeah, so we're moving on to the right rein, even though it looks like the right, left rein. This is, this is gonna get old. Um, to do more counter. Trying to get her balanced before. And then we did some final counter right. Again. Um, this is actually slightly better balanced but um it is what it is i mean it's very uncomfortable to sit um because it feels very stiff and awkward um but we'll work on it 
So she got some a long rain and a walk break as a reward for working hard. And then at the end I did some more trot work with some transitions from trot to walk and back up into trots again. Just to work on obedience and suppleness. Like transitions is the best thing you can do if you have a horse that doesn't um, answer to your leg aids. And if you're having difficulty with getting your horse to working from behind, uh, transitions will help you with that. So um, it's important to just not let the horse fall into the transitions, not stop them with your reins only, but keep riding into the walk when you are in trot. Uh, of course, there's no good example right now. <laughs> But like keep walking. So you can see there she was walking into the, uh, like moving into the walk. But she did lo lose a bit of momentum. Um, but that was because of the way she was today. And it's important even though this was not a good session, schooling session. It's important to just work on like that one was very good. Like look at the bright side. Look at the good bits. Even though you have a bad ride, find the good bits and savor those. That's, I guess, what I would like to have you understand from this voiceover. <laughs> well, that was uh, quite a bad session. I mean, I don't think I've actually had a worse session with her except for the one time when she was had like um, pulled something. Uh, she was so not forwards and unresponsive to my leg and I was just like is it because I'm wearing the new tall boots? Is that why it's not working? Is it because I'm not giving the right signals? Or, but like, I don't know, she just felt off and slow and syrupy, which isn't like her at all. So I'm not sure what's going on. I'm just gonna walk her off now. Now her stable is done, she got some new shavings, hay's here, feed bucket, water bucket, and yeah, I swept, so I'm done. I'm kind of sad that it wasn't a very good um, schooling session today, but what can you do? Things go up, things go down. Today they went mostly down, um, but you can't be perfect all the time, and we need to learn from setbacks. I'm not sure what I'm going to learn so far from today, um, but I bet I'll figure something out. I'll see her again on Thursday, see if there's anything I can do different. So. Yeah, and uh, so I'm gonna go to my bus, and uh, it's now six o'clock, six p.m. A little later, I think. So uh, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you liked it. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, leave me a comment. And. That was my bus. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.